What is feminism? Feminism is the abdication of responsibility. Women's pursuit to have it all, eschewing the consequences that come with it. An ideology cloaked in false morality. Feminism seeks to garner sympathy by claiming women are hapless victims who merely desire an even playing field. The advocates feign righteous indignation like an innocent man on death row, looking to clear his name. Their mantra of equality attempts to veil the insidious nature of their ideology. However, that veil is paper thin. It's easy to see through it if you're not blinded by the sexual appeal of the feminine. Feminists seek equality across the social board. A noble clause, right? Maybe, if that was truly their intent. They instead want hegemony over men in all facets of society. Take the wage gap. It's an often broached subject. Women want parity in the workforce in regards to pay. They want daddy government to step in and use compulsion to get what they want instead of doing what is needed to achieve income parity. They refuse to work the more dangerous and labor-intensive professions that tend to pay more. They also refuse to work longer hours, especially after they have children. This is one facet in which parity is achievable through toil and diligence. However, they resort to government intervention the easy way. Feminists lobby for the vote, but refuse to qualify for the draft. They enjoy the trappings of democracy while their male counterparts get their limbs blown off in countries thousands of miles away. They gain the privilege to vote without the consequence of defending that privilege. Feminists have openly embraced the sexual revolution and lauded the advent of the birth control pill but run to the government when they choose a bad man with whom to have kids, or when they inadvertently get pregnant. This practice not only allows the relinquishment of responsibility by women, but it also incentivizes women to make bad decisions. As a result, surprise, surprise, women make more bad decisions. Moreover, while white men as a demographic pay the most taxes in the United States, the querulous feminists whine about having to pay $5 a month for birth control, engendering them to lobby for free health care. Women also destroy their capacity to pair bond in a relationship when they are sexually licentious, then complain that a man won't date them after they have hit the wall and lost the capacity to love. This has led to the highest divorce rate in U.S. history. Feminists spearheaded the prohibition movement in the early 20th century to take away men's alcohol because women chose drunks to marry instead of having higher standards and choosing a more stable man and provider. Speaking of higher standards, only after being carnal with dozens of disreputable men do the modern western women pursue quality men in their 30s only to find that no quality man wants them. This places a large burden on society. When single women age, their health declines, then society must take the burden to take care of them. Feminism is just women's way to have it all, but without the responsibility of the burden from bad decisions. Men are burdened with these bad choices that women make to the detriment of society. And now women resent men because we have bent to all their demands. Men have lost women's respect. So when all the money runs out, and the government can no longer print money to devalue the dollar. Women won't be able to waste time and resources in school. Women will no longer have the luxury of being a single mom and being paid for it. Women will no longer be able to divorce their man on a whim, only to profit off her ex henceforth after the divorce. Women will have no choice but to return to men in supplication for protection and the resources. And will we take them back? I fucking hope not.